video explaining the basics of the Intel processor, letter meanings, the basic figures of the processors, and just what the actual letters and things mean about them. So, the basics. So, P stands for no iGPU. If you do not know what that is, I'll explain it later on. So, here you have an Intel and a another Intel, Potanium and a Celeron. Now, you can see the Celeron has a 2 megabyte cache, 2 to 4 cores, 2 to 4 threads, and a Potanium or Pentium has 2 to 6 megabyte cache, 2 to 4 cores, and 2 to 8 threads. Now, they're quite old now, but here comes on to the newer ones. So you have the i3, the i5 and the i7, each ranked in order. This whole list is ranked in an order of like price and performance. These are the ones that are mostly consumer and find on most computers. The Xenon, Xeon or Xenon, whichever it's called, um, this is mostly features in like video rendering machines or servers due to its really high thread and core count and its massive amount of megabyte cache, which is extremely expensive. Now here comes on to the very high performance um, processors. So you have the i7 Extreme Edition and the Core i9 Extreme Edition, both of the Extreme Editions which you'll see in this video as I explain the letter codes. So they all have the i7 Extreme has a very high amount of cores and the i9 has even more amounts of cores and these are very high performance for gaming. So the basic meanings, that is what I mean by desktop on the left there, and when I say mobile, it's a laptop. That's what Intel used to refer to it, so I left it the same in the video. Now, iGPU or integrated GPU, I say quite a lot in the video, and that basically means the GPU built into the CPU. That is what it basically is. And when I say quad-core, it stands for four cores in the CPU, and dual cost stands for two cores in the CPU. And the format. So here's a demo of what I'll be explaining almost. So I've just explained the i7, as you can see, it's called the main type. Well, I've called it the main type, and that'll give you like the rough specs. So like in the in the slide before this, where I told you about the i7, the i9, and all that. That's just roughly so you know what the performance will be like. Now, this is basically the product code. Um, and like it says there, the bigger, often the newer, and the fastest, and the more efficient. And then the spec letter, as I've called it here. That just gives you that extra bit of information. Because the i7 will give you the main, the main rough specs. The number will just give you what type it is. And the letter will kind of tell you, you know, if you can overclock it, it's high performance, maybe. Uh, um, consumes not a lot of power and stuff like that. So... On to the main part of the video, the Intel symbols and the letters for all the generations. So, the 7th generation letter meanings. K stands for the processor is unlocked, meaning it is capable of overclocking. This is in the desktop section, as you can see. T is designed to consume less power, meaning less heat. This is often good for, like, small case builds, where you've got a small case, and you need to keep the heat low due to your small cooler. Now onto the mobile versions, H, the internal GPU has high performance, or as it's called the iGPU, or internal GPU has high performance. HK stands for the internal GPU has high performance, and is unlocked, that means the CPU is unlocked. HQ stands for the internal GPU has high performance, and the CPU is a quad core. Y stands for low power consumption, and U being very low power consumption, U being the most the most powerful power like the most power consuming CPU processor onto the sixth generation so mobile version same again K a process unlocked and capable of overclocking T designed to consume less power and less heat now onto the mobile versions H internal GPU is high performance HK internal GPU is high performance and is unlocked HQ stands for the internal GPU is high performance and the CPU is a quad core Y is low power consumption and U is very low. I skipped over that quite quick because it's the exact same as the seventh generation. So on to the fifth generation. So desktop versions. C stands for the processor is unlocked and has high performance graphics. 
that is only for the LGA1150 socket type though. That's just basically the socket which your CPU will fit into on your motherboard. Are the desktop processor with similar architecture with the mobile processor of that socket there? Just that's quite a specific letter, but it's still on here. H this stands for the internal GPU as high performance. This is on mobile versions, obviously. HQ stands for the internal GPU as high performance, and the CPU is a quad core. U stands for very low power consumption processor and onto the fourth generation so for the desktop versions K stands for the processor is unlocked therefore it's capable of overclocking or underclocking whichever you may want T designed to consume less power meaning less heat for like smaller cases R the desktop processor with a similar architecture with a mobile processor with the BGA1364 socket with similar architecture sorry S is designed for better performance now onto the mobile version of the fourth generation MX stands for mobile extreme edition processor this is often more expensive and can be faster MQ stands for the processor is a quad core HQ stands for the internal GPU as high performance Y stands for very low power consumption. U stands for low power consumption. M stands for mobile. And now on to fifth generation. I mean, sorry, third. Desktop versions. So K stands for the processor is unlocked, meaning it's capable of overclocking. T, designed to consume less power and less heat. S, designed for better performance and onto the mobile version. M stands for mobile. Y stands for very low power consumption. QM stands for Cog Core Mobile Processor and U stands for Low Power Consumption. On to second generation. So K, yet again, it's a lot. T, less power and less heat. S, designed for better performance now to mobile. M stands for mobile. QM stands for Quad Core Mobile Processor. On to Intel Core 2. This is desktop or mobile due to the fact they're kind of mixed in all together because there's no real way to divide them without it being too messy so qx stands for extreme edition processor and it is a quad core this is in desktop or mobile x stands for extreme edition performance processor but it is a dual core same as above s stands for better designed for better performance Q stands for the mo it's a mobile high performance quad core processor. E stands for low energy dual core processor, which it has a low GD TDP below 55 watts of energy. T very low energy mobile processor, 30 to 39 watts. Now onto Xeon V5 to V6 letter meanings. M just stands for mobile, that's the only one for this. M processors, this just means Y for very low power, and that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will answer them to my best ability. This video should be as accurate as it should as I could make it, but if there's anything inaccurate, feel free to let me know in the comments and I can always change it or announce it. Okay, thanks for watching.